guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl all things shannon today i'm here to share with you a soul food classic smother turkey necks mm -hmm. and if you're not subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button like the video share this video with your family and friends and leave a comment and don't forget to hit that bell notification it will let you know each time i post a video you can also follow me on instagram at all things shannon let's get cooking The first thing that I'm doing is I'm chopping onion, bell peppers, and garlic. All measurements and ingredients will be listed down in the description box. I have two pounds of turkey necks that I already cleaned. Now I'm seasoning with seasoned all garlic powder, onion powder, thyme leaves, and cayenne pepper. Make sure to season your meat well. With my clean hands, I'm mixing it together. The turkey necks are all seasoned. In my pot, I added vegetable oil. Now I'm adding the turkey necks to the pot. Let these brown on all sides. This is how the turkey necks are looking. Now I'm turning them over so they can brown on the other side. Okay guys, the turkey necks are all brown. I'm gonna take these out and put in the rest and repeat the same process.
I wanted to give you guys a close-up on how the turkey necks are looking. I wish you guys can smell it. It smells so good in here and I know they're going to taste good. All the turkey necks are done. I'm going to take these out of the pot and put them in a bowl and set aside. Okay guys, see all those bits at the bottom? That is going to help make our gravy. And that is where all your flavor is. I'm adding to the pot the onion, bell peppers, and garlic that I chopped from earlier. Mix together until the vegetables get soft. Now that the vegetables have gotten a little bit soft, I'm adding three tablespoons of flour. You can add how much flour you like. Um, it depends on how thick you want your gravy. Mix all together. Now I'm adding chicken broth. This is going to give our gravy extra flavor and also it's going to help pick up those bits at the bottom of the pot. Now what I'm doing with my spoon, I'm just breaking up those bits at the bottom of the pan. And that is where all your flavor is. Now I'm adding two cups of water. For more extra flavor, I'm adding one chicken bouillon cube. Now I'm adding parsley. You guys know parsley makes everything pretty. <laughs> I'm adding a couple of pieces of bay leaf. Mix everything together. Let this come to a boil before adding the turkey next. The gravy has come to a boil. Now I'm adding the turkey next to the gravy. As your turkey necks are cooking, your gravy will thicken. You can also add water to loosen it up or if you want to add more of the chicken broth, you can because you don't want your turkey necks to stick to the bottom of the pot. This is how the turkey necks are looking. It smells so good in here. I wish you guys can smell it through the camera. <laughs> 
the turkey necks are not tender yet but i'm not going to add any water or chicken broth what i'm going to do is i'm adding ice cubes this is going to get our turkey necks tender and once i put the ice cubes in i'm going to put a lid on top and let them continue to cook until they're tender Alright guys, this is how the turkey necks are looking. Look at that. They're all tender. The ice cubes made them tender. They're pretty much falling. The meat is falling off the bone. Um, I'm going to go and plate up everything and then I'll come back and show you guys the end result. Okay guys, there you have it. This is how my soul food classic turned out. My smothered turkey necks and I'm serving it over hot rice. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video on today don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video share this video with your family and friends and leave a comment and don't forget to hit that bell notification it will let you know each time i post a video and don't forget to follow me on instagram at all things shannon until next time bye guys